any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days Hi y'all, good morning Actually, it's afternoon We're about to leave the house We're going to Sam's Club and Whole Foods Or definitely Whole Foods I don't know if we're going to feel like going to Sam's Club Because, um they're not close to each other unless we can find one near the whole foods we're going to we'll see but um right now well i don't know if y'all can hear all that racket in the background but my husband is cleaning out the refrigerator and um yeah it's really loud so excuse that maybe i should close my door it sounds like he's freaking playing basketball with the garbage can but yeah, so, you know, we went on vacation. We tried not to um, go grocery shopping too close to vacation because we didn't want food to go bad or whatever. But of course we already have food in our refrigerator. So some stuff has to go and we need to stock back up on some items. Like I said, cause we didn't go grocery shopping for a while before we went on vacation so that things didn't waste. So now we need to go to the grocery store. Um. But yeah, that's all we're planning to do today. I took my hair out, as y'all can see. I did not want to take my hair out, um, but I had to, cause I just was like the airplane air in my hair, the water, the salt water and the ocean, like I was swimming and stuff in the ocean. So yeah, I had to take my hair out. I'm thinking about redoing it. I'm going to an event on Friday. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my hair. So I'm considering redoing it because it was actually a really quick style and I really did like it. So I'm considering washing my hair in like two days and redoing the whole style so that I can wear it on Friday to the event I'm going to. Um, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with that. I might wear the wig I have. I really don't know, but I need to figure it out. I think I know what I'm wearing, but I don't know. We'll figure that out another day but yeah and then later i have to take out my daughter's hair they've had their hair in for a while so i need to take it out i also want to look up um a new hairstylist and see if i can get them an appointment between this week and next week their hair came out really good last time but some of the practices they use to do their hair i don't really think are good for natural hair so they didn't really seem to be experienced in doing natural hair or if they were experienced they didn't really seem to know certain processes you'd use when doing natural hair versus relaxed hair so i want to find a salon that specializes in doing children's hair um specifically natural children's hair but i assume if they specialize in doing children's hair they probably do natural hair because most kids don't have a relaxer so um yeah i don't know i was kind of rambling just now basically we're going to the grocery store today i'm a vlog in the store i will have my camera with me until somebody tells me i gotta put it away so yeah and i think i'm gonna cook dinner tonight i don't know if i'm gonna cook dinner tonight you know when you go to the grocery store <laughs> you end up leaving and being like i don't feel like cooking so my plan is to cook dinner tonight we'll see we'll we'll see if that happens and i still have to upload a video for vlogtober day three which i'm in the middle of editing i'm editing that on my phone so hopefully hopefully i can be done i just need to be done by midnight i'm gonna work on that tell y'all something while it's on my mind something that annoys me is that my husband doesn't shop the grocery store correctly and it really bothers me so when you shop at a grocery store 
you're supposed to shop the outside first and then do the middle aisles last. That way you buy, you spend the majority of your budget or whatever it may be on fresh foods before you see the snacks and things like that. You go into the middle aisles last. That's how I always go street shop. He literally goes all over the place to like, <laughs> he'll be in produce, then he'll think of, oh, I want chips, he'll go to chips. Then he'll be like, oh, oh, we need eggs. Then he'll go to dairy, like, no. <laughs> Just go around the outside. So we're kind of separated because I'm going around the outside. Hey y'all, so we're back from Whole Foods. Um, I'm putting the groceries away, so I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. We didn't go to Sam's because we didn't feel like it. So, cold fresh juice. Kemi asked for caramel to dip apples. Cookies. No, this is bake at home. Cookie dough. Double chocolate. Croissants, y'all, when I tell y'all I could eat egg salad on croissants every day, every day. In here is some teriyaki salmon, but it's like leaking, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I can't put it away. I gotta put it in something else. Beef, short ribs. This is lemon dill salmon. I love salmon. And garlic teriyaki marinated salmon. I actually should probably put those in the freezer. Cinnamon donut muffins. I don't eat this because I don't like, um, what do you call this? Cinnamon sugar? I don't like cinnamon sugar. And this is coated in cinnamon sugar. Why do people do that? I don't like that. I won't eat those. Blueberries. Cherry, oh, grapes. And blackberries. Hmm, what are these? Star crimson? These are some kind of pear. Interesting. Raspberries. Chickpea, these are really good. I never had this brand. But I've had chickpea noodles before. And they really, to me, they taste like regular noodles. I think maybe the texture might be different, but you have to cook them a certain way for the texture to really be believable. More salmon. <laughs> when I decided not to go to Sam's, which is where I usually get my stuffed salmon, so I'm gonna try this one from Whole Foods. This is crab cake stuffed salmon. So I'm gonna try it out. I like the one at Sam's. We'll see how this one is. I'm really mad though because I like to use this to make a Caesar salad, but I forgot to get lettuce. Tomato paste. Orange juice with pulp because what's the point in drinking orange juice if it doesn't have pulp in it? Oat milk regular milk i use regular milk um one because i decided recently i don't like pig milk and also i use it for cooking not often but when i need it i need it but we also have canned milk so sometimes i'll just use that but there are some times when i'm cooking and i'm like dang i could really put some milk in here and it would help me cheese but y'all I did not want to buy this cheese this cheese was very expensive but this was all they had they didn't have a deli that was very weird that they didn't have a deli and then red lentil gluten free spaghetti I didn't pick this out but I'm interested to see how this tastes my husband picked that out and then he got a bunch of chocolate he does this all the time. Just a bunch of chocolate. This is manchego and cherry. This has cheese in it. 
We tasted this one in the car. You can taste the cheese, but it doesn't taste bad. Oh, and I got these, y'all. I like these breakfast burritos, not this brand. I never had this brand, but I had one, these plant-based breakfast burritos. Oh, this wasn't the one I wanted, though. I specifically didn't want the one with seitan because I don't like that. No. Yeah, I didn't want this one. This was the one I didn't want. I picked this up by mistake. I'll eat it, though. How? They had the wrong, they had it in the wrong box. Dang. I didn't want that. It has tofu scramble, but I wanted real eggs in it. I didn't want this one. But no, there's one at um, Publix that I really like. And so I decided I would try these. This is by Sweet Earth. But now I'm annoyed because these are not the ones I wanted. And then we got... I just bought a couple of these because I'm the only one that really likes lobster. And Kemi, so me and her will probably try these. I got these garlic parsley lobster grillers. Um... Yeah, we'll see what they taste like. They're just like lobster shells, like opened with a skewer in it. So I'm probably just gonna throw it in the air fryer, child. Grill, not pulling on no grill for that. It's more chocolate in there, but it's a lot. I'm not taking all of that out. He got a few of each, so this one is it just says Om Nom Chocolate Milk of Madagascar. So I think it's just regular chocolate milk. And then this is banana coconut. Um, some apple cider. Y'all, we have a bunch of olive oil. He didn't know that. And he picked up this olive oil. I didn't know that this was olive oil. I saw this in the cart, but I thought it was some kind of liquor. <laughs> now I'm looking at it. I'm like, we didn't need no olive oil. <laughs> And this was probably very, very expensive. And where is the receipt? I can't find the receipt. Um, then these, I don't know what this word is. Agedama, Agadama, Agadama. I'm not sure, never seen that word before. Panko shrimp. I expect these to be tasteless, but maybe dip them in something. And then coconut shrimp. They'll eat this. I don't like coconut shrimp. Last bag. More grapes. Peppers. Tomatoes. Strawberries. Asparagus. Um, more of those pear apple things and then more strawberries because they eat these fast and that's everything now i have to put some stuff in the deep freezer then i need to finish editing the video that i need to put up today and that's probably all i'm gonna do today i think i do want to show me cooking maybe if if I cook, <laughs> um, I think I will, but we'll see. If not, then I'll be closing out this vlog soon. But I really need to get to editing. I need to finish editing. All right, y'all. Uh, let me show y'all something. So, look at this. Y'all, look at these boxes. So are you gonna explain what's going on here? These are um, some baskets that I ordered from Nigeria. So these are baskets. We're about to open them and see them. These are them on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is that, a small one? Yeah, small baskets. Oh, cool. So I got the photo shoots for these. Like yeah. We did for the couches. And then I have um. This looks nice. And I. Have